Now, I know a lot of people come down um, to Peru to participate in a ceremony in order to heal or cure some sort of um, a psychological ailment, which it's ex extremely effective for. Um, but have people come down for physical ailments or diseases and have been um, seeking relief in that way? <laughs> They do. I think when you go to plant medicine looking for different kinds of physical ailments and the healing of that, you either have to be very careful to understand that you're utilizing plants very much in a Western medical way. You're utilizing plants that have the capacity to be able to provide the kind of healing that you're looking for. You know, not all plants can heal all things. And so the diagnosis of the disease is really, or the, the issue is really important. And then the ability to prescribe the appropriate plants is also incredibly important. And the, there are hundreds of different kinds of medicinal plants that the tribal people utilize for different kinds of medicines. And ayahuasca is also used as, a, as both a diagnostic tool and a prescribing tool. So there's a possibility that you would have a physical disease. You would go into an ayahuasca ceremony. In the ceremony, you would see that you need to do certain kinds of purification diets, certain kinds of fasts, drink different kinds of teas that are not psychoactive, use different kinds of poultices, et cetera. Those would be discovered through that process. You would then come out of that ayahuasca ceremony, and then you would start that treatment just the way that you had been told in the ceremony or shown in the ceremony. And so that's a typical healing uh, method. Now, when you think about utilizing ayahuasca to heal physical illnesses, often people are looking for something that's just truly miraculous. They're in a situation where Western medical intervention is not supportive of their needs. They don't have another kind of medicine to go to. And they've heard about visionary medicines being able to provide, in some cases, miraculous healing. And I have seen that. I have seen that in, uh, in person, but there's no way to be able to say why it happens for some and doesn't happen for others. And so it's very important to understand that in, in the miraculous sense, it is not a cure-all. And um, if you need that kind of intervention, I never thought that you shouldn't try. I thought if you're in need of help, you, of course you should try to receive a miracle, but you can't demand that form of miracle. And if you do receive it, um, you know, it's just something that's incredible.